Hello students, welcome. I am Nathan, from the United States. So, my accent is American. In this video, we will learn about A. Requests B. Irregular nouns C. The noun substitute 1 D. The use of other in another and E. The object forms of pronouns. Notice the request sentences. Positive. For example, please open your books. Polite positive. For example, would you please open your books? Negative. For example, please don't open the door. Inclusive request. Positive. For example, let's watch television. Negative. For example, let's not watch television. The word please may be omitted. However, including please makes the request sentence more polite. Please may also be inserted at the end instead of the beginning of the sentence. The negative word not is used in request sentences when let's or would or another auxiliary appears in addition to the main verb. Don't is used in the first pattern above. Some additional forms of request sentences. For example, Will you please open the window? Won't you please open the window? Could you please open the window? The following patterns are often used to make requests rather than to ask questions. For example, Why don't you open the window? Why don't we go to the movies? An invitation. This is always a question. It requires an answer like yes or no. For example, would you like to go to the movies? Exercise 1. Form polite request sentences with the suggested words. A second student will respond with yes, I'd be glad to. For example, Close the window. Student A. Would you please close the window? Student B. Yes, I'd be glad to. Open your book. Student B. Would you please open your book? Student C. Yes, I'd be glad to. Now, please do the following exercise. You can pause your video until you finish the exercise. Exercise 2 and 3. Exercise 2. Form negative request sentences. For example, George speaks rapidly. Please don't speak rapidly. George is usually late. Please don't be late. Exercise 3. Form request sentences that include the speaker. For example, sing some songs. Let's sing some songs. Go to the movies. Let's go to the movies. Write some letters. Let's write some letters. Now, please do the following exercise 2 and 3. You can pause your video until you finish the exercise.
Exercise 4. Form a negative request sentence. Then, add an affirmative request, individually. For example, Let's open the window. No, let's not open the window. Let's open the door. Let's go to the movies. No, let's not go to the movies. Let's watch television. Now, please do the following exercise. You can pause your video until you finish the exercise. Notice the irregular nouns. Singular, plural. For example, men, men. Gentlemen, gentlemen. Policeman, policeman. Businessman, businessman. Woman, women. Child, children. Wife, wives. Knife, knives. Loaf, loaves. Shelf, shelves. Foot, feet. Tooth, teeth. Mouse, mice. Sheep, sheep. Fish, fish. People, police, and clothes are always in plural form. Exercise 5 and 6. Exercise 5. Practice the regular plurals. For example, I see a man. I see two men. I see a gentleman. I see two gentlemen. I see a woman. I see two women. Exercise 6. Substitute the following words and make the necessary changes. For example, the man is here. Are. The men are here. The child. The child is here. The people. The people are here. Interesting. The people are interesting. Now, please do the following exercise 5 and 6. You can pause your video until you finish the exercises. Notice the use of the word one as a noun substitute. Previous pattern, lesson 5D. Did you buy any pencils yesterday? No, I'm going to buy some tomorrow. New pattern. Did you buy a pencil yesterday? No, I'm going to buy one tomorrow. Additional examples. I need an eraser. The teacher has one. Did you ever see an elephant yesterday? Yes, I saw one. Are you going to write a letter to your parents? Yes, I'm going to write one tonight. 
Exercise 7, 8, and 9. Exercise 7. Practice the use of one and some as noun substitutes. Use tomorrow in your answer. For example, Did you write a letter today? No, I'm going to write one tomorrow. Did you buy some apples today? No, I'm going to buy some tomorrow. Exercise 8. Practice the use of another one. For example, John is reading a magazine now. He is going to read another one tomorrow. Mr. Miller is singing a song now. He is going to sing another one tomorrow. Exercise 9. Practice the use of the other one. For example, Mr. Allen is going to write two letters. He's writing one now. He's going to write the other one tomorrow. John is going to read two magazines. He's reading one now. He's going to read the other one tomorrow. Now, please do the following exercise 7, 8, and 9. You can pause your video until you finish the exercises. Other can also be used in the plural. For example, the other pens, the other ones, the others. The following sentences illustrate the use of other in the plural. 1. I have three pens. One is here. 2. The other ones are at home. 3. The others are at home. Sentences 2 and 3 mean the same. In the plural, it is very common to use the short form the others in place of the other ones. Exercise 10. Listen to the statement about one student. Make a question about the other students using who, what, or where. Do the exercise once with the other students in the response. Then, repeat it using the others, or the other ones. A second student can answer the question. For example, One student is reading a magazine. What are the other students reading? They're reading some books. One student is studying in the library. Where are the other students studying. They're studying at home. Now, please do the following exercise. You can pause your video until you finish the exercise.
Exercise 11 and 12. Exercise 11. Listen to the statements. They are descriptions of something that occurs in the morning. The same situation occurs at night. Describe the situation at night using others. For example, four men work here in the morning. Four others work here. A few students study in the morning. At night. A few others study at night. Exercise 12. Practice the object forms of the personal pronouns. For example, John explained the question. John explained it. They asked Mary. They asked her. We followed John and Mary. We followed them. The boys attended the class. The boys attended it. Now, please do the following exercise 11 and 12. You can pause your video until you finish the exercises. Exercise 13 and 14. Exercise 13. Answer the questions affirmatively using the subject and object forms of the personal pronouns. Use the adverb yesterday in your answer. For example, Did Mary learn the new words? Yes, she learned them yesterday. Did the students practice? The conversation? Yes, they practiced it yesterday. Exercise 14. Practice the use of the personal pronouns and possessives by asking questions. For example, John is leaving. Does he have his luggage with him? Mary is leaving. Does she have her luggage with her? John and Mary are leaving. Do they have their luggage with them? Now, please do the following exercise 13 and 14. You can pause your video until you finish the exercises. Well done students. You have finished chapter or lesson 7. I hope you enjoy it and keep practicing. See you again. Bye.